Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's me, Alan Ander, from myiPhoneActivation.com, and today I'm going to show you a brief overview of what's available in iPhone OS 4.0 Beta 3. Now, this firmware was released earlier today by Apple Developer Connection, but it was pulled two hours later because they found some errors with the SDK installer for Xcode, which uh, wiped out the developer um, directory entirely. So uh, they did. Apple did pull that firmware out, but I was able to get the firmware nevertheless in time for me to show you what's new and for me to uh, provide it on the website. Um, this is uh, an iPhone 3GS, so I do have access to all the features that Apple has announced in 4.0 um, as of yet. If you're running an older iPhone or iPod Touch model, obviously you don't get those new features unless you jailbreak your device when the dev team releases a 4.0 jailbreak because it is possible to enable it on the other devices. So, let me go ahead and just... Uh, go here and verify the firmware for 4.0 so as we can see we are at 4.0 build 8a 260b verifying that we are on 4.0 beta 3 so um, in of course also to verify that this is the latest beta I'll go ahead and take a picture of what's behind the iPhone here to verify that the camera application isn't buggy or not working because in beta 3 the camera works again so that's good to know. Uh, another feature in Beta 3 is that Apple now has iPod controls. Now I don't have any music in the iPod app, but you will find this when multitasking. Um, I believe these controls are available on all um, Apple devices, the 3G, 3GS, and the second and third gen iPod Touch. Because, well, if you don't can't get multitasking, why not use that cool little grill for something else nicer? So when you scroll to the far left, you get iPod controls. The iPod app is available there. You have um, buttons for play and pause and to go between each other song. And this button right here mimics the iPad's um, screen orientation lock, but it's now a button here. So if I press this button, the portrait orientation is locked between the entire iPhone OS. So if I'm going to YouTube or I'm going to, let's say, the stock app and I'm watching the latest stocks, when I rotate to landscape, it won't rotate at all, even though it's supposed to. I can just double tap, disable it, and now stocks that app will reorientate to landscape once again. So that's a new feature they added in beta 3. They also did a bunch of glitch fixes, of course, that were present in beta 2. Apple went ahead and took care of those nicely. Um, I, what I did see in beta 3, because I didn't install beta 2 on my iPhone, is the way Apple has changed multitasking. It now uses a little bit of core animations here. So I'll go ahead and open the stock app once again. It just flows in. I'll double tap to go to the app store, and it just flips between applications, which is a snap. Right here, I'm just downloading outside. It's a nice weather app on the app store. I'll double tap again, go to Safari, and it'll go back to Google. And it'll just be doing this, I'll go back to the camera. Apple also changed the way to uh, close applications. At first, in beta 1, every time you close an application, um, you, that little negative sign there, if you had no idea, you just have to hold it. They all start wiggling, and if you want to close an app, you just close it. In beta 1 and 2, those negative signs will disappear after closing an app. So this one actually allows you to close as many apps as you want while you're in the griller, which I think is nice to help you with memory and stuff. And of course, once you're done, close the griller and close the app which is what you want to do. Of course, if you have noticed about this feature, there is 5X digital camera zoom on the iPhone. So, it's pretty neat. I don't believe there is video zoom yet. Nope, it's just for taking pictures. But, um, I'll take care of that. Um, the backgrounds work. Game Center is still the same. Game Center. Um, apps download fast, it's the same. There's really not much difference, except bugs have been fixed and so many nice things have been made with 3.0. I'm almost reaching the five minute mark, so I'm gonna go ahead and end here. That's pretty much what's new in 4.0 as beta three. If you've been keeping up with previous betas, it's obviously all the same features, except Apple has been fixing bugs and glitches, and they've introduced um, newer ways for multitasking and a couple of nice fixes for iPod owners. And for people that can't access multitasking, they can now um, screen orientate log like you do on the iPad. And of course, you have music control buttons, which is really nice. So that's me, Alan, for my iPhoneActivation.com with a quick overview of the 4.0 OS Beta 3. Peace.